You are listening to the Pinax Report. Pinax Report. Pinax Report. The Pinax Report. Pinax Report. Pinax Report. Report. Live only on Pinax TV. Okay, so Papaya Uhu Eyeni picture and then you for the old screens no so no or a very popular figure at uh, our Ghana has here. Dia man for be breeding name no and you'll be as a Kofi Juma. Na Papi, there's a video trending of this particular man. Na mama for be bree and soon it the Jamaica can say okay. Yeah, you say now I'm bene. What does he say? You pay be but we never thought say we will see this particular man like this. Now, uh, this particular picture, who uh, know and a video, who uh, know there's a reason why he is trending. Sebi ni pay be a who now looks as sa. But this man, he's not. And you say not yet. Now we are putting a picture on the screens. Look at it very well. This is the man we are talking about. This is the man we are talking about. Now we share the before and then the after. Any video you share, you will see say uh, things are not looking good. Even it even went as far as people reacting on social media. Ebra ni pa ba ko ye Isaac J B D ako posti e wo tweet. Also former Kumasi mayor Maxwell Kufijuma. This life, mm, nothing surprises me anymore. Anymore, uh, like I say, nothing surprises me anymore. Let's respect one another. It was sure, Maso Kofi Juma, the former Kumasi mayor. So there's a reason why this picture is trending. Uh, in fact, video in the background, people did not even recognize him. Because he was campaigning for Baumia, a child or channel, a woman who said Baumia, a new name, no, a banner, a BMW, Baumia, BMW, to Uti Baumia, our MPP, Nibiana, I also who say a friend, BMW, our MPP, Bian, one is a Baumia. Now, this video has caused people to panic, say, okay. This man should be in the room thinking about his health rather than campaigning. For a, a new patriotic party and also Baumia. And they been your condition because currently they are, what we are watching just a condition and yeah, but people are also saying you say let's respect one another because at the end of the day they were female and nepo with me jan and so what you say uh you said maso kofi juma sebe or you nipa and then you do you pa internet for some reason is what you are a bia or go through some treatment any therapy be and a year day uh you advise any sentence on tia nabi a yaria a be born and a bbc into nabi a ne a map a pay ne so artist so there's no need and force for us so and i see any see they be they be they let's respect one another so uh, currently this is what is going on uh who's the pictures near trend there in chimunia but the good news is it's not dead and it's still alive i'm will be reacting on social media and he's busy campaigning for a era bmw who uh real name is baumia <laughs> Eminent Craig Clergy, Chief of Staff, General Secretary, National Executives, Members of Parliament, CEOs, former Members of Parliament, MMGCs, Regional Executives, Constituency, Electoral Area and Police Station Executives, Fellow Kukrudais. Today, it's a very, very, very important day because ene ye ye ndasi asole ye betanya miasi. It is a Thanksgiving service. We have always said, as His Excellency the President has told us, the battle is the Lord's, and the battle is the Lord's in government as it was in opposition. For so long, over the last six years, we have been trying to do a lot for the people of Ghana. And sometimes we forget what we have done and that we have to thank the God Almighty for how far he has brought us, notwithstanding the challenges we have faced. If you look at the record, and I want to remind you just a little bit about the record. 
of the MPP in government, you will know that we have a lot to be thankful for. Since we have been in office over the last six years, and this is all based on the data, we have created more jobs than any other government in the history of the Fourth Republic. More jobs, teachers, nurses, security forces, civil service, the private sector, we have created more jobs than any other government in the Fourth Republic. And we have to thank God for that. There's more to do, no doubt. But our record puts us as number one of any government in the Fourth Republic as far as job creation is concerned. We have built more roads than any other government in the Fourth Republic. And we have to be thankful to God for giving us the opportunity to do so. We have not built all the roads, but we are still working. And so we are saying that there is no government in the Fourth Republic that has built more roads than the government of Nana Adudankwa Akofuadu. We have built more classrooms than any other government in the Fourth Republic in the education sector. We have built more railways than any other government in the Fourth Republic. We have built more factories than any other government since independence. We have built more airports than any other government in the Fourth Republic. And we are thankful to God for that. We have built more interchanges than any other government in the Fourth Republic. We have laid more fiber optic cable to drive our digitalization than any other government since independence. And we are building more hospitals, especially under Agenda 111, than any other government since the independence of Ghana. You have seen that God has blessed us for the last six years because of our investment in water and sanitation. Ghana has not experienced even one case of cholera in the last six years under our administration. Not one case of cholera. We restored the teacher and nursing training allowances that were cancelled. We were hit with COVID and we managed the COVID crisis. One of the best COVID management countries in the world is Ghana. We were the example. And we have to thank God for that. In that case, we reduce the number of deaths in the countries. We are a government of ideas, transformational ideas. And in the last six years, we are thankful to God for the ideas that this government has been able to implement. One constituency, one ambulance. One district, one factory. One village, one dam. Zongo Development Fund. The planting for food and jobs. Zip line drones, which are delivering medicine all across the country. We've implemented the Ghana car. 17 million people have been enrolled. Today, if you are a student and you have a Ghana card, you don't need a guarantor to get a student loan to go to university. New idea, the digital address. Today we have a national property address system, the digital address. So every part of Ghana, every location, every building has a unique digital address. That has never happened in our history. Our ports have gone paperless. We have mobile money in interoperability between the mobile account and the bank account. The first country in Africa to do so. Today, because of digitization, if you want to enroll on national health insurance, you just sit in your home and enroll. If you want to renew it, you sit in your home and do it on your phone. If you want to buy electricity credit, you sit in your home and buy it on your phone. A big cedar. A big cedar. If you want to apply for your passport, you sit in your home and apply for it. A big cedar. Today, we've implemented a new policy that the 
public and the country will see its benefits in the next few months. Gold for oil. And that is going to reduce the demand at the Bank of Ghana for foreign exchange and bring down the fuel prices. You have already seen the fuel prices coming down.